Yeah, uh, hello everyone. My name is Lynette and welcome to my first vlog. It is the weekend and today I'm going to bring you along with me to do a little shopping and then end the day with the Phoenix Mercury game. Hence the reason I am wearing this shirt. They do play New York Liberty and another reason I am seeing this game is because one of my favorite players, Sabrina Ionescu, is playing today. This will be my second time seeing her play here. So I'm super stoked to see that game. So I hope you enjoy this vlog and let's get the day started.
Phoenix now. I'm gonna park the vehicle and then get some food before the game. Hi everyone, it's the next day and I figured after all the shopping, I at least do a little haul of what I got. Um, mainly all Halloween decor stuff. Halloween is probably my most favorite holiday out of the year. So this is actually one of my favorite times of the year to go shopping for decor. And I bought a few things. Typically, I don't buy as much as I did um, this year because let's be honest decor Halloween decor is not cheap but I was able to splurge a little bit this year so let's get started so I did start off at the home goods and TJ Maxx store it's a all-in store combined so a lot of this is more home goods I did go shopping maybe a week ago so some of this is from last week and I also went to Bath and Body Works last week and got some stuff too. So I'll go ahead and share that too with you. Before I get started, I wanted to show my t-shirt of the day since I'm doing this little Halloween haul, might as well, right? This is actually a band t-shirt, one of my favorite bands. And 
as you can see, does have Jack skeleton on there and with pumpkins, really cool. Anyways, <laughs> back to the haul. First up is this pillow. Has Frank the Frankenstein monster and Bride of Frankenstein on there. I am a Frankenstein fanatic. It is probably one of my most favorite classic horror films. And anything Frankenstein, Bride of Frankenstein, I will probably get it. So <laughs> I thought this was super cute. And you can see there kind of legs. So this will probably go on my couch. Another pillow I came across is this Featherfield decorative pillow. It says psychic readings. I thought it was really cool. It does have this like metallic feature on it. Even the outside is metallic. It's really cool. And in addition to that, I came across these kitchen towels, which also have the same graphic on it. The Psychic Greetings, Crystal Ball Tarot Guard. I thought it was really cool. It's also metallic, as you can see. Next up, going back to the Frankenstein, I found this really cute Frankenstein pumpkin. It is really cute. Had to get it. And usually I don't like to get coffee cups because I feel like I already have enough, but I felt like I kind of needed these. So I have this um, Nightmare Before Christmas, a Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas cup. It's pretty big, so I mean, you probably have like two cups of coffee in here. Let's see if we can focus this. There you go. It's like glitter. Same print on the back too. So, excuse my nails. They're ugly. <laughs> and the second cup I saw, Bride of Frankenstein. I thought this was super cute and I had to get it. And it has her wearing some red lipstick. I love this. Probably my new favorite cup um, next to my my Prince cup kit. I also got some paperware, some napkins. These have a little skeleton on them. And then this one says party on, happy Halloween. And then this one says cheers witches. I actually like anything that has witches on it too. That's probably my next favorite thing. And I also found these little plates, cute Franken the Frankenstein monster and these disposable cups. They say basic witch on there. I don't know if you can see it, but anyways, basic witch. And then I came across this Frankenstein monster plush. It's so cute. It's really soft. And I, I just had to get it. It's too cute. <laughs> so he'll be sitting probably on my couch or maybe on my bed. We'll see. I got this oversized throw. I don't have anything Halloween as far as a blanket, a throw. So I really like this, I like the color, it has witches on it, and actually there are some phrases on here. This one says, you say witch like it's a bad thing. So, really soft, and that will be going on my couch. On to the Bath and Body Works. I didn't do any footage there but I just wanted to share what I got from there. They had some really cool stuff as far as Halloween. Uh, first up is this soap holder. I thought this was super cool. It's a hand and just put the soap in there and voila. 
I thought it was really cool. Cool, cool, cool. I love that. And as far as the soap, I got Ghoul Fiend and then this uh, Sugared Spell. So they're both the foaming hand soap. So got those. And I like to get a lot of the hand sanitizers from Bath & Body Works. So I got a few of the holders, the hand sanitizer holders. I got this little bat. Oh, and the wings, they move. Got this little cat. Let's see if it focuses. There you go. And then another little hand. I really like this one. It's really, really cool. And I never tried the car fragrance, fragrance, the car fragrances before. Um, I came across this, so I decided I'd give it a try. I got the Waikiki Beach Coconut and then the Watermelon Lemonade. So those are the refills that I got. They smell pretty good. Um, and then this says it lights up. So let's see. Oh yeah, it does. I mean, it's kind of... can't really see, but kind of see it, but it lights up. Let's see. And I typically don't do the candles from Bath & Body Works, but since I'm buying all the stuff from there and this next thing that I bought, you know, I kind of need a candle for it. So this, it is a skull. It has glitter in it. So you shake it. It also lights up too. Um, I think I need to put batteries in it, but it lights up. I thought it's really cool. And then I got this ghoul fiend candle to put on top of it. So there you go. Can't wait to see this light up. I forgot a few more items that I got from Home Goods. Um, first, here I got this little fake succulent plant that has this little spider web on there. There's a spider. This will go on my table, my dining table. And I also have a little basket where I like to put all my snacks in. So I actually came across this. I thought it was cute. It has little witch feet on him. And all my snacks will go in here for the holiday. Maybe even longer, we'll see. And I couldn't forget Daisy, my dog Daisy. I had to get her a few Halloween items. I am a Peanuts fan and she has a, a little Snoopy bed right now and I came across this. I saw this and I'm like, I have to get this. I have to get this for her, it has these cute little Snoopy images on it. So this is gonna be her new bed for now. I also came across these, these Ray Dunn um, bowls, ceramic bowls. So this one says spooky. And then this one says happy haunting. And I got her this little dog harness. It's really cute. They had different colors, but I I like pink. And usually most people mistake her as a boy. So hopefully this will help in identifying her as a female dog. <laughs> but I thought it was cute. And I'm gonna probably put this on her next time I take her out. And last but not least, probably my most favorite thing out of all of everything I found. Um, I found this at TJ Maxx. It is this unicorn skull. How freaking cool. If you don't know me, I am a unicorn fanatic. Anything unicorn, I will probably get. And I saw this and I'm like, I have to get it. <laughs> so I thought this was really cool. Definitely probably have this out all year round. A lot of these I will probably have out year round because I mean, like I said, I love Halloween. Halloween is my favorite um, holiday. And oh, Halloween every day. 
Next up is the Inspired by Denebazos store I went to yesterday. They did have vendors set up in the store, which they do every month, twice a month, I believe, on Saturdays. So yesterday was their first Saturday this month that they were selling. I initially went there to check out the Blue Corn Custom Designs booth because I did see a post on Instagram that they were selling blue corn cookies and that they had their dinner bobo tea. So went there and then also came across other vendors in which I had to grab a few items. So I just wanted to share what I got. Um, first off, um, so NTBS clothing has a few items that are being sold at the Inspired by Dinner Bazaar store. I have been wanting to get this for a while and it was there so I figured I might as well get it right then and there. It's this War Pony um, pin and I am also a collector of pins so anywhere I go I definitely try to pick up a pin and this is one I definitely wanted to get. I am a My Little Pony fan. I have been since I was a kid. So I thought this was really cool to create this war pony and I, I'm like, I need this. And I also picked up this um, Hello Kitty. She's dressed in Navajo attire. Um, I'm not quite sure. I know I've came across this artist before, but I can't think of the artist who did this, but really cute. I had to get it. Um, I also collect stickers. <laughs> Simply Mariah was also um, there at the store and she was selling her um, her items too and I came across this sticker that she had. It's um it's like a starry night and it has a hogan in it. I thought that was really clever. I really liked it, so got it. Um, I also bought a t-shirt from her a while back, and I just wanted to share that. This says keep grinding. So it has that in the front and this on the back, bigger in the back. So I thought that was super cute. It has a Navajo woman on the back. She's grinding corn, and it says to keep grinding. And the next vendor that I came across was Noel Tom Creates. And I saw these little totes, had to get it. Fun fact, I actually have my bachelor's degree in chemistry. So all those years of chemistry, love science, love chemistry. And I saw this and I'm like, I have to get this. So it says Indian and Indy is neodymium and then nit nitrogen here so thought that was cool. I also got a couple stickers along with that so more stickers it says Indian and that is it as far as items purchased yesterday. Um, I also wanted to do a little unboxing. I actually did purchase an item last week and it just came in and I wanted to share that and unbox it with you all. This is from a native owned business called Moth to the Flame. This is the packaging. It does say Skoden Studis on there. All right, let's see. So when you open it up, it comes like this. It says thank you. Ooh. Has a little sticker in it. A little thank you card. This is what I love about small businesses is that they're very personal and you know seeing something like this is what gets me. So here it is the wallet chain and also purse chain. So freaking pretty. Seeing this in person is like, wow. I've seen this on her Instagram. So a little close up here so you can see it a little better. Hopefully you can. Really 
pretty. I love the design. I love the colors. Thank you. Um, I definitely like to support native businesses, small businesses. So this I will cherish. Here it is on my bag. Really cool. I love it. Good job. <laughs> but if you want to check it out, check out any of the stuff, any of the vendors, I've included their Instagram. Um, so give them a follow and support small native businesses. And if you want to find any of the other stuff that I found on Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and Bath and Body Works, they, you know, they're still there. I was there a week ago. Um, I went yesterday and it seemed like they definitely had a lot more items. So check it out. I would definitely probably do it now if you want to get some Halloween decor. So that is it as far as my haul. So if you like this vlog, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you again and I will see you on the next one.